this evening. I'll proceed to put the question. Honorable Senators that are aware that the National Assembly on the 8th of October 2024 resolved with the support of 282 members, being at least two-thirds of all members of the National Assembly, that pursuant to the provisions of Article 145.2, as read with Article 151b and 2 of the Constitution, and Standing Order 65.2 of the National Assembly Standing Orders, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya be removed from office by impeachment on the grounds specified in the special motion. Whereas by a letter reference NA stroke DLP stroke TBO stroke MTS stroke 2024 into brackets 25 dated the 8th of October 2024 and received in the office of the Speaker of the Senate on the 9th of October 2024, the Speaker of the National Assembly informed the Speaker of the Senate of the approval of the special motion by the National Assembly and further forwarded to the Speaker of the Senate documents in evidence of the proceedings of the National Assembly. Further, whereas pursuant to Article 145, as read with Article 150, 1B and 2 of the Constitution, and Standing Orders 78 and 79 of the Senate Standing Orders, the Senate had the National Assembly on the grounds for the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Rigate Gashagwa, EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. And further, whereas pursuant to Article 145, as read with Article 150, 1B and 2 of the Constitution, and Standing Order 78 and 79 of the Senate Standing Orders, the Senate also had His Excellency Rigate Gashagwa, EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, on the grounds of his proposed removal from office by impeachment of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Now, therefore, pursuant to Article 145, as read with Article 150, 1B and 2 of the Constitution, and Standing Order 78 and 79 of the Senate Standing Orders, the Senate resolves to remove from office by impeachment His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, on the following grounds. One, gross violation of Articles 10, 2A, B, and C, 27, 4, 73, 1A, and 2B, 75, 1C, and 129, 2 of the Constitution, and Article 147, 1, as read together with Article 131, 2C, and D of the Constitution. Two, gross violation of Article 147, 1, and 152, 1 of the Constitution, by undermining the President and the Cabinet and the effective discharge of the national government's executive mandates. Number three, gross violation of Article 62, 10 a 174, 186, 1, 189, 1, and the fourth schedule to the Constitution by undermining devolution. Number four, gross violation of Article 161 of the Constitution on the institutional and decisional independence of judges. Number five, gross violation of Articles 3, 1, and 148.5a of the Constitution on the fidelity to the oath of office and allegiance. Number six, serious reason to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed crimes under Section 13.1a and 62 of the National Cohesion and Integration Act. Number seven, serious reason to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed gross economic crimes under Sections 45.1, 46, 47A3 and 48 one of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act and sections two, three, four, and seven of the Proceeds of Crime and Anti-Money Laundering Act. Number eight, serious reasons to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed crimes by continuously misleading members of the public through false, malicious, defensive, and insightful remarks that that are contrary to the provisions of Section 132 of the Penal Code and Section 29 of the Leaders Leadership and Integrity Act. Number nine, gross misconduct that is incompatible with the high calling and dignified status of the office of the Deputy President and a member of the Cabinet and the National Security Council. His Excellency, the Deputy President, has publicly attacked and undermined the work of the National Security Intelligence Service and its officers. Number 10, 
gross misconduct by openly or publicly insubordinating the president, who is the head of state and government. And number 11, gross misconduct by persistently bullying state and public officers. As I've already indicated, honorable senators, voting shall be done electronically. So at this juncture, I will ask honorable senators to pull your cards out of the delegate unit. Sergeant Atams, kindly go around and pick all the unattended delegate cards. Sergeant at times, if you're done uh, collecting the unattended uh, cards, we're good. Now, honorable senators, you may log in back. As indicated earlier, we um, will be casting our votes 11 times. So the vote you're going to cast at the moment is for charge allegation number one, which is gross violation of articles 10 to A, B, and C, 27, 4. I had already read it out. So from this moment, it's beamed on the screens. So honorable senators, once you've logged in, you may now proceed to vote. Senator Tabitha Keroche, may you move to dispatch and get some assistance.
We're now going to allegation number two. It's been beamed on the screen. You may now vote. We shall now move to ground number three, allegation number three. Can you beam it? There we are. Honorable senators, you may now proceed to vote on ground, on allegation number three.
We are now going to allegation number four. Let it be beamed on the screen. Honorable senators, you may now proceed to vote on ground number four. Honorable Senators, we are now moving to vote on, ch on charge number five. You may now proceed to vote on charge number five. Honorable Senators, we are now moving to allegation number six. Honorable Senators, you may now proceed to vote on allegation number six.
Honorable Senators, we are now going to move to allegation number seven. Honorable Senators, you may now proceed to vote on allegation number seven. Honorable Senators, we are now moving to ground number eight. Honorable Senators, you may now proceed to vote on ground number eight. Senator Karungo, just come to the dispatch, Senator Karungo, and cast your vote.
Honorable Senators, we're moving to charge number 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 nine. You may proceed to vote. Honorable Senators, we're moving to charge number 10. You may now proceed to vote. Senator Boni, proceed to dispatch and cast your vote.
Honorable Senators, we're now moving to the final charge, charge number 11. You may proceed to vote. Honorable Senator Methu, proceed to dispatch. Senator Karen Yamu, likewise. Senator Alan Chesang, proceed to the dispatch. Senator Karungo, proceed to the dispatch. Senator Miraj, proceed to this part and cast your vote.
Senator Ojenda, proceed to dispatch. Order, Honorable Senators, Senator Okoit Omtata, Senator Bass and uh, Senator Oroba.
please take your seats. Now, the result of the division is as follows. Charge number one, eyes 54, nays 13, abstention zero. So the high eyes have it. Charge number two, eyes 28, nays 39, abstention zero. So the nays have it. Charge number three. Eyes, 19. Nays, 45. Abstention, 3. So the nays have it. Charge number four. The eyes at 51. Nays at 16. Abstention at 0. The eyes have it. Charge number five. Eyes, 49. Nays, 16. Abstention, 2. So the eyes have it. Charge number 6. Eyes at 48. Nays at 18. Abstention, 1. So the eyes have it. Charge number 7. The eyes, 13. Nays, 53. Abstention, 1. So the nays have it. Charge number eight, eyes 27, nays 40, abstention zero. So the nays have it. Charge number nine, eyes 46, nays 20, abstention one. So the eyes have it. Charge number 10, eyes 22, nays 45, abstention zero. The nays have it. Charge number 11. The eyes 18. Nays at 47. Abstention 2. So the nays have it. Now, honorable senators, the result of the division indicate that the Senate has upheld the following impeachment grounds. One gross violation of Articles 10 to A, B, and C, 27 73-1A, and 2B, 75-1C, and 129-2 of the Constitution, and Article 147-1 as read together with Article 131-2C and D of the Constitution. Four, gross violation, ground number four, gross violation of Article 161, of the Constitution on the institutional and decisional independence of judges. Ground number five, gross violation of Articles 3.1 and 148.5a of the Constitution and the fidelity to the oath of office and allegiance. Ground number six, serious reason to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed crimes under Sections 13.1a and 62 of the National Cohesion and Integration Act. Ground number nine, gross misconduct that is incompatible with the high calling and dignified status of the office of the Deputy President and a member of the Cabinet and the National Security Council. His Excellency, the Deputy President, has publicly attacked and undermined work of the National Security Intelligence Service and its officers. Now, honorable senators, pursuant to Article 145.7 and 151b and 2 of the Constitution, and standing order 78.8 of the Senate, the Senate has resolved to remove from office by impeachment His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa AGH, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Accordingly, His, Ex His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa AGH ceases to hold office. I thank you.